the state of the union. Ugh. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? This is my reaction to Joe Biden's State of the Union. Hey, I know I'm probably late to the party, whatever, but I was kicking back at my house watching this decrepit, wicked, you know, monstrosity, this uh, this debacle on live TV. And man, I just can't help but just I was getting the sense of the Hunger Games. That's exactly how I look at these people, y'all. They're hella creepy. They are a uh, wicked, you know, elitist, right? And while watching this, I just could not believe that someone could sit there and hear this man lie the way he did, y'all, to the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, shame on all of them politicians, especially the ones on our side, supposedly, the Republicans, whatever. Y'all don't even consider, consider myself a Republican at this point. I'm just a Christian. But to watch these Republicans sit there and listen to this man and even clap for him. Like my wife said, my wife said they should have did like they, like they did Trump. They wouldn't even clap for the man, right? But again, y'all, the State of the Union... Joe Biden up there lying, I thought it was disgusting to see. And yes, I am a Trumper, whatever you want to call me, y'all, but knowing that the economy, the money we're making is not enough, the, the dire straits people are in, and for him to sit there and, and, and lie and say that this is the best whatever, created so many jobs, 12 million jobs, you know, the guy's just throwing out numbers that he don't even freaking believe himself. He don't even know what he's talking about, y'all. Now, as far as his performance, I kid you not, it's kind of like when he debated Trump, he was like, kind of more sharper than usual. I was like, is this guy CGI? Is this guy AI? I mean, who knows? Have you kind of noticed y'all at this point, the way AI has progressed that all them crazy conspiracies about cloning and AI, whatever y'all like, it kind of sounds more plausible at this point, but I digress. I ain't trying to be too crazy over here with any conspir uh, conspiracy theories, right? But haven't they been kind of coming true as of late? I digress. So this guy seems a little bit sharper than usual. What is it they give him? How does he, you know, do it, to be honest? Even somebody commented on my Facebook post saying that this guy seemed a little bit more sharper than than, than the usual Joe, you know, Biden, that he, blubbering buffoon that he is. Like I said, same thing when he debated Trump. I really didn't expect him to be so sharp as he was when he debated the Trumpster. So is it a concoction they're giving him? Is it the same guy? I don't know. But I did notice that Biden seemed a little bit more on point than usual. I give it to him as far as that point. But... I can't stand the man. I can't stand these politicians. Again, shame on those that are supposedly on our side that sat here and clapped for the freaking dude, right? Is it all charades at this point? Are they all just, you know, talking crap about each other to please us at times, but there they are eating dinner and lunch and going out golfing with these people? I don't know. I'm not a politician, but I couldn't help but think about the Bible, how the uh, politicians were talked about the worst, <laughs> usually uh, even hypocrites, which they probably go one, uh, one and the same, but how the Bible talked bad about how politicians were not like then and they're not like now, right? So I'm watching a room full of liars, deceivers, actors, you know what I'm saying? People that I'm really ashamed of them being representation of us. They got too much power. I'm not kidding, y'all. When I seen them and I compare them to the Hunger Games, that's exactly who I think about, y'all. They look like these people. They act like them. They just have this certain aura to themselves, y'all. These politicians in D.C. I honestly feel like they don't give a damn about us, y'all. It's all a game. It's all, you know, a political game for them to make money, to do whatever, you know, sending this money here, hide a little bit this way, send it that way. I don't know, y'all. To me... I think politics is a big sham. It's uh, theatrics at the theater. Who knows? And they don't give a damn about me or you, the average everyday citizen of America. They care about more about illegal aliens than they do about people like us, y'all. Right? The rancher down South Texas that they, 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 they got, you know, did what he did. And now he's in jail for defending his property and his life. I digress. So the State of the Union, y'all, I'm telling you, this guy is just completely lying, y'all, lying to the American people, sitting up there, you know, and just giving the crap to a room full of liars and deceivers themselves. So that's just the whole gist of it, the way I got it. Let me know in the comments, y'all, what you thought about it. I don't even know how even a Democrat could even like what this guy's saying, to be complete, completely honest. I sat there, y'all, and I saw this man, what I felt Internally, I felt like he was just lying to me and the people, y'all. The economy's gone to crap. We're working harder and making less, right? You can even work harder and make more, but is your dollar even stretching? Is your dollar doing anything 
better than it was a couple years back. And this ain't even to sit there and say, oh, we need Trump back, bring Trump back. And you know what? To be honest, y'all, screw the politics at this point. How's your financial situation right now? Are you working harder and making less? Are you working harder and making more, but yet your dollar doesn't do anything for you at this point? Eggs, all these prices of all these commodities and, and things you need, the basic necess necessities, right? Are they, are they, you know, is it, is the money not helping you whatsoever? Forgive me for that, y'all. Right? Is, is your wages not going up, but yet the cost of living is? Am I the only one watching Biden and thinking that he's freaking lying to us? Of course, the Trumpers, the Christians, the conservatives, y'all are with me. My question is, what about the people? My question is, what about the average everyday citizen? What are they thinking? How can they believe this man? Jill Biden kisses Kamala Harris's husband on the lips. Now, is that a white person thing? I don't know, to be honest, y'all. But to me, I'll be damned if my wife kisses any man, even on the cheek. This woman went down there, y'all seen it, and kissed Kamala Harris's husband on the mouth. Who are these people? What are these people, right? The whole thing, y'all, it just disturbed me, perturbed me, however you want to say it, y'all. What I saw last night, y'all, was disgusting. And the whole, you know, the whole takeaway for me is this. All these politicians, politicians don't give a damn about us, y'all. Even the ones that say that they do, they are on our side, right? Maybe they have to act like this. Maybe they have to, 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 do, to act a certain way when he's speaking, but for them to clap for this guy and to clap for his lies, right? And I think Ian Smith made a good point. These people are sitting there talking back, pointing the finger on each other on how each, each one acts. They're all guilty, y'all. They're all part of it. Like a Facebook, someone said on Facebook, when will this end? It'll only end when, and they had a little spill of when we, you know, have had enough. And I digress, I'll leave it there. These people are drunk off of power. These people have too much power. And all they, they like to do is lie to us, the American citizen, from Pelosi to Biden to even those on our, our side, supposedly. Hogwash. My reaction to Joe Biden's speech last night was it was a bunch of deception, lies, and filth. And a bunch of perverts clapping for him. Huh. Just like the Grammys, y'all. Stuff I don't want nothing to do with. They're at the Grammys, y'all, with... Basically worshiping Satan right in your face. It ain't even imagery no more. It ain't even, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't even a, 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 a symbolic. It's not even a symbol. The Illuminati sign was in the back. You had to look for it. And in the middle went to the front. Now they're just openly worshiping Satan on national television. And there's Joe Biden lying to the American people. You know, damn well he's lying. And then there's people on our side clapping for this filth. Disturbing times, y'all. So that's my take of the whole State of the Union I was very angry watching it. I'm not lying, y'all. I was just, and I'm not even really dealing with politics a lot lately, y'all. But hearing this man lie really pissed me off. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you think. You're an American. You're a patriot. You got grit. Act like it. I'm out.